<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a new mini series and I'm not sure what this will really be like because I'm actually inviting you to join me on a pretty unique experiment that I'm going to be conducting on if I can get away with a little bit of guerrilla gardening. Um, we have just concrete patios at our apartments and for a long time I thought that I was limited to just that container gardening where it would just be like a few pots that I get some potting soil for, maybe some plants, lots of plants on the inside actually, but you know I was like oh well I don't have any ground to do any real gardening and I realized I potentially do. There is a secret spot right outside of my apartment. Like we are on the end unit. So we have like all this grass that all the dogs of the apartment complex poop in all the time. And I can't do anything there because the apartment controls that and they law mow it. They even go rah, 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 to people who set up hammocks or put like uh, the slack lines between the couple of sad trees that we have out here. And so I was like, oh, there's just, I'm gonna have to wait. It's the dreams of the rich people who have yards, <laughs> who get to have a real garden they can till up and everything. And then I was looking around and sorry for the glare, my, my phone screen's broken. I'm gonna try to fix that soon, I'm sorry guys. But um, I was looking around and I was like, there's a spot actually and it's full of trash and debris and no one ever goes back there but there's a spot between the storage units right behind me which are right next to our apartment complex that so almost no one's there they're storage units someone shows up to drop off grandma's collectibles once a year you know what i mean there's a spot between that fence there's two fences right behind me there's a fence for the storage unit and there's a fence for the apartment complex and there's this tiny little no man's land in between that's just full of trash people throw back there and I was looking at that and all the leaves and the, they like push the leaves from raking up in there and I realized no one's gonna care if I sneak back there I think and plant a few a few little garden beds Maybe they will. Maybe someone, because we live in an apartment complex full of like teenagers, because they're college students, maybe someone will be really mean one night and destroy the whole thing. But I kind of want to sneak back there and I want to clean it up and I want to get all the trash out. I want to sort like the debris and I want to see if I can have a secret garden. So this is my, um, oh, what should I call it? My secret garden project? That sounds so odd, but I guess it really is. So it's my secret garden, the uh, city secret garden project in the, in the middle of the city because we do have a community garden, but it's like the plots are very expensive and I'm like, it's ground, it's dirt. It's dirt that people throw trash on and, and it's an area that like is just filthy. And if I clean it and if I try to bring life into it, I don't see why anyone would get mad but maybe they will. So I hope I don't get in trouble, but I'm excited to bring you guys along with me while I try this out, while I see if I can have my secret garden. So I'll show you guys the very rough start of where we're going to be working. <laughs> so this is the fence that runs along our apartment complex. And as you can see, it's just kind of like a trash area. These are pumpkins. This is somebody's plant. This is actually a weed plant, so it's someone's potted plant that died and weeds took over. But you know what I think when I see this? I think that I could set up a compost area and put that and all the compost that Darling and I uh, dig up, and like because we cook so much with fresh fruits and vegetables, put a compost back here and see what happens. You can see there's a bunch of dog poop. This is where people throw the dog poop if they're going to be nice instead of just leave it in the yard. <laughs> and there's like just a bunch of trash. There's trash bags, there's empty soda bottles, there's giant slabs of concrete and like construction material that's gotten thrown back here. I can hear birds in these little trees, but then there's this tiny little barrier of trees right here, you see? And actually further down there, you see where those vines are? Those fully flower out and they would hide this area back here. So I'm thinking, what if I clean up all the trash back here. You can see more deflated pumpkins that people threw out after Halloween for compost. What if I clean up all the trash and I walk back there and between those vines and the fence, let's see if I can even get back there. This is the first time I've come back here. 
I don't know why I always thought this area was off limits, but it's literally between the two fences. I don't think anyone, I just stepped on a soda bottle. I don't think anyone cares. I mean, look at all this. It's just debris and junk and trash. It looks like there's a little bit of drainage. So if I did plant anything here, it would want to be on the upper slope. But look, there's trees on that side. And then there's trees on the end and there's vines on the left. So there's this whole little section that is full of like all that junk right now. See, there's junk everywhere over here. Styrofoam cups that haven't broken down for ages. This is actually a drain from where the water can drain into so it doesn't sit here. See more styrofoam junk, more trash. There's a couch cushion. There's a cat carrier. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I could clean all this up. And what if I came back here and ironically all of the leaf litter and everything would make really good organic compost. So set up like a little, instead of trash, I could set up like a, kind of like this thing right here, except it would be uh, with like the wire, the wire meshing and some sticks. <laughs> and that would be a new compost spot. But look, I mean, it's so hidden away once spring comes and these guys, those guys and these guys leaf out again. I think I could transform this. I'm hoping, I don't know the soil quality. But this would give me the equivalent of like a backyard to work in and hopefully no one would notice because this is the corner of this um, this parking lot where it's tucked away like I said once the trees blossom out this is just going to be kind of a hidden little spot. So step number one is going to be cleaning all the trash out of here and even if someone does come in and just wrecks this place or tells me hey you can't do that that's illegal to work on this untouched, never visited, filthy spot of land uh, and try to clean it and put plants in it. If someone chases me off, at least I'll have the experience of trying. So I'm excited. I, I, in the past, I would have been like, oh, no, 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 that's not mine. I'm too scared, but I'm not trying to hurt anything. And I'm not that terrified little girl anymore. So I, don't, I think we're going to try this and it'll be great exercise, great motivation. I have some awesome heirloom seeds coming from that new grow journey stuff that I'll show you guys soon. Uh, it's heirloom monthly seed box. I can't wait for you to see it, but we're going to do it. So I'm going to start cleaning up all of this trash, like step back. We can take a before and after picture. Because even just cleaning the trash up would be a great benefit. So we'll clean it up. I'm going to take care of my yard, even if it's just a little hidden alley in the apartment complex. So I'll show you guys uh, kind of progress snippets as time goes on of trying to clean in here and trying to do work in here. And we'll see how long we're able to pull this project off. I hope it's long enough to harvest something good. So we'll see what happens. And I hope you guys will wish me luck and warn me if I'm breaking some horrible law that will throw me in jail. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.